Hello friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be performing the first assignment from the group B assignment of data science and big data analytics lab. So the problem statement for this assignment is we have to perform operations on the Facebook metrics data set and the operation that we have to perform is first we have to create the subset, then merge the data, then sort the data, then we have to transpose the data and last is the shape and reshaping of the data. So for this, we'll need the Anaconda, that is the Jupyter Notebook and the Facebook metrics dataset. So both the links are mentioned in the description box. You can download the dataset and the Anaconda from the links given in the description box. So after installing the Anaconda, you have to open the Anaconda prompt and you have to type Jupyter space notebook, Jupyter space notebook in lower case. So uh, and then you'll uh, be redirected to your default browser with the home page of the Jupyter. So from here you can create the new notebook. You can rename the notebook by double clicking on this and click on rename. So I'll open the default, uh, the created notebook. So see for this assignment, we'll need some data, uh, we'll need the Facebook metrics data set and the some required libraries. So the libraries that we will be using is in, uh, Pandas library and the NumPy library. So NumPy library is uh, for the last example that is not inside our problem statement. So that's for that I will need this. But for this assignment uh, only pandas is required. The next, so for this we have to import the data set. So for that we'll create one data frame that is df and we'll call the read csv function or the method from the pandas library using pd dot read underscore csv in bracket you have to write R and then you have to give the path of the data set where it is located. So here we have used R because we want that the backslashes that we have used inside this path should be treated as backslashes and not these characters. Okay, So that's why we have used this R and there is no space between this R and the path. Next parameter we have passed is the separator. So separator is here in this case is semicolon. In some data sets, uh, it is about uh, the separator used is comma. So see if I use here comma, the format of this data set will be some different. So see here you can see that there is the separator that is semicolon. So I will replace this comma with semicolon. So now my data sets looks good. Now Next, uh, make sure that you write here R because if you don't write this R, you will get an error while uploading this data set. So you have to give, give you have to write the R. Okay. So now we'll uh, perform the next operation or the command that is df dot describe. So this df dot describe command will give us the some mathematical uh, values that is count, mean, standard, etc. The next command is df dot shape, so it will return the total number of rows and columns present into our dataset. So here, 500 rows are there and 19 columns are present in our dataset. So now, creating the subset, which is the first uh, operation that we have to perform according to our problem statement. So what is subset? So subset is nothing but a part of the main dataset. So we will create some uh, three subsets: df1, df2, and df3 from the main dataset. So the syntax is create one variable and uh, from then you have to use the data frame okay we, because we have created store the data set into this df variable. So that's why we'll use this df and from that df will extract only the required columns. So you can extract here 2, 3 or 4 any col any number of columns but for instance I am using only 4 columns. Okay, So I'll use post total likes category post month and post weekend so these columns i'll extract and uh, these columns will be my first subset now here i have written dot loc and in square brackets i have given the range so it means from 0 to 15 records will be extracted from this data set df and the columns are this three columns so it means from 0 to 15 so from here 0 to 15 records will be present into my first subset Similarly, second subset is created and the name is df2. The columns is same, just I have changed the range. I have here given the range as 16 to 30. So from 16 to 30, uh, whatever the rows or the data is present between that rows will be my this second subset. 
and I have printed the subset. So see here, from 0 to 15 is first subset. Second subset is from 16 to 30. Then third subset I have created from 31 to 50. Okay, so now this is our first operation. Now let's move towards the second operation that we have to merge the data. So as we have created this subset df1, df2 and df3, so we will be merging that only for the merging operation. So for that I have created merging variable and I have called the concat method present inside this pandas library and it has the parameters the column names or the data frames. So I have created df1, df2 and df3. So I have passed them to this concat or concatenating method and then I have printed this merging. So just print it. See now from 0 to 50 we will see that all the records are merged and displayed. So this is the merging operation or merging of the data. Now third operation that we have to perform is sort values or we have to sort the data. So for sorting values I have created one variable that is sort values and we have to sort the values from the data set. So that's why we are using here df. So df dot sort underscore values and then you have to pass which column values you want to sort. So I want to sort the page total likes values and I want them to be sorted in the descending order. So that's why I have given the value for this ascending parameter as false and I have printed this sort values. So see now our page total likes is sorted in into the descending order. Now if you want them to be sorted in the ascending order just remove this ascending parameter because by default the sorting values will be sorted in the ascending order. See now these values will be sorted in ascending order. So this is our third operation. Now fourth operation is transposing data or transpose of the data. So for that we have simple method that is df.transpose and then we have to give the parenthesis. Okay. So now just we'll display this. So see the total page likes type category these were columns in our data set but they are now converted into the rows and whatever the rows are there they are converted into the columns. So this is nothing but the transpose of the data. You can also create one variable and store the value of this transpose inside this transposing equal to df.transpose and I'll print transposing value. You see you will get the same output that is the rows is converted into columns and columns are converted into rows. Now the last command that we have to perform or the operation is shape and reshape of the data. So shape and reshape. So shape command we have already seen that it uh, displays the total number of rows and columns. So here I have created one variable shaping and stored the value as df.shape and I have printed the shaping. So see it will return 519 because there are 500 rows and 19 columns. Then next is the reshaping of the data. So see here we'll reshape the data using the pivot table method that is present inside this pandas library. So the syntax is first create one variable that is pivot table is equal to pd dot pivot table and in that we have to give some parameters. First is the data frame. Second is the index on which columns you want to use this reshaping and then next third is the values. So see and then I have printed the pivot table. So see here we have given the index as a type and category. So this will be treated as index and the values is the comment. So here you can also replace this comment with like. So it will display the values of the likes. Okay. So see what actually the reshaping is for this type and for this category there are total number of likes. So this much number of likes. Similarly for this type for this category there are that uh, this much number of likes. So this is nothing but the reshaping of the data. So to understand this concept easily I have given an example of array. So for this only we will need the numpy library. So here I have created one variable reshaping array is equal to np dot array and I have given the values of the array and then I have called this dot reshape value uh, method and then I have passed the two parameters or the values 3 and 2. So what it will do it will convert this array into three rows and two columns. So see here you can see that there are three rows and two columns. So if I change the values inside this array as 7, 8, 9 and 10 and if I change here 
from five rows to two columns then it will display the five rows and two columns okay so in this way we'll uh, perform this reshaping operation on the data set and the array so that's it for this assignment so in a nutshell we have perform operations such as creating subsets then we have merge the subsets then we have sort one particular uh, values inside this table and then uh, we have transpose the data that means we have converted rows into columns and columns into rows then we have performed the shape and reshape operation on the data set so that's it for this assignment so thanks for watching we'll see in the next video